my wonderful, beautiful guests, as always with most things, go ahead and get yourselves a playable seven. Don't worry about mulliganing down to six and five and all that crap. Just as long as you're not going to get your god hand, you know, I trust you guys, which might be my downfall, but whatever. Damn it, you... Oh, this is awful. Oh. I'm keeping it. Up oh, three lands. I'll take it. Yeah, same. Uh, let me randomize us four times here. One, Just two, it. three, and four. Totally Ooh. not rigged. I get to go first. Yeah. Take hey, a look at that. Last time I did it, it didn't, like, it ended up with the exact same spots as it was when I started. Like, you could see us moving in the middle of it, but then suddenly it was right back to where it was. I wasn't going first, but it was just like, <laughs> okay, cool, I guess that did nothing. Yes, you absolutely you get to pick some of those donation incentives. You get to pick a bajillion if you want. Or you can kill, kill me right now with infect counters. I mean, that's $100, <laughs> that's like 10 of them. Well, um, I am playing the most dangerous gamer. Oh, No foreshadowing. <laughs> oh, no. But I'm going to keep this hand it's a little weird but uh, i think it'll be fun all right so this deck is the monster manual Ooh, you'll nice. see what monster oh, i guess i should actually put mine oh. in the thing shouldn't i like a professional it was a match it was a monster man all right wonderful people in chat this is pod jesus what is this pod five 69 of, yeah <laughs> Hello, well. Pod five of six of 12 hours of Commander trying to raise money for Extra Life, which benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Uh, I am joined by a new pod of awesome creators, as I have been all day. I would like to thank them, as always, for joining. And uh, we've already randomized, so obviously we're not, I'm not going to worry about me, but we're going to start with Chris, and they're going to go around, tell them, tell you where you can find them. What their deck is and what it does. So, Chris, please take it away. Oh, it's my name is Chris. One more game, MTG. All my links can be found at omgmtg.com. Uh, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, you name it. I pop, do the whole nine yards. Primary focus is Pauper Commander. A twenty every other month. Well, if is very similar to how Brian does it. Uh, today, I am playing the most dangerous gamer. Uh, reason why I love it is because I like building out jank builds. So this one has a bunch of the attractions, and I, my main goal is to always get every single one in the battlefield <laughs> once, so it's a goal. But I do have a little bit of mini subtext of other things in the deck having be the attractions don't do anything. A little sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky. Love it. That's Johnny. Hey, I'm Scott Johnny. You can find me mostly on Twitter right now, because even though Twitter is a super dumpster fire. <laughs> at Scott Johnny. I'm on other platforms as well, but they literally like I have like three people following me. <laughs> so that's uh, my reach is, is limited there. But uh, I just guest on streams right now. Uh, so I've taken a break from content creation, maybe permanent. Who knows? We'll get back into it eventually, probably. But uh, I'm playing Jahira, Friend of the Forest, Inspiring Leader. I saw this deck like a long time ago and I decided to make my own version of it. Basically, I spam tokens out and use them as mana ramp and uh, beat. So it becomes just this big board of stupid tokens that can either <laughs> ramp or, <laughs> or beat your face in. And that's about it. Thanks for having me, Brian. You're awesome. I hope the, I hope the donations keep pouring in. Awesome. Thank you. Boss? All right. Hello, hello. I am the boss of Gremcorp. <laughs> you can call me Grem if you have issues with authority. Uh, if you've been around the Magic the Gathering community, you have generally probably seen my little gremlins that look like me. <laughs> uh, you can find me anywhere at Gremcorp. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just here to uh, make gremlins and just have a silly old time. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, today, I will be playing Volo Guide to Monsters. Love it. So it's an anti-kindred deck. And then I have every single monster in this, every single creature in this deck uh, drawn on its own little token, which I will show off as we go. So mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a fun little time. Some of them are uh, silly. Some of them are kind of cool looking and uh, in between. Um, usually, this is a uh, bounty deck. Which means if you ask me on your stream and uh, you win against it, I will physically send you one of these and then redraw the next one featuring you. Ooh. And then also give you a request of a token. So when you have a regular stream, invite me back and uh, <laughs> we'll have a grand time. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> so just a preview of that. Cool. All right. All right. And I am, of course, the Unskilled Commander. You can find me on YouTube and... Uh, I, have a, I do gameplay videos, comedy skits, stuff like that. So go check that out. 
I try to stream a little bit here, but mainly it's charity streams every couple months, so uh, always keep checking back for that. I am playing Lozan Dragon's Legacy. I call it my Lindsay Lozan deck. That kind of dates me because she, I mean, I guess she's coming back into the, you know, limelight now, but she was gone for quite a while. Um, it's just basically trying to play as many dragons as I can, dealing direct damage to people's faces when they come in, and then maybe even swinging in the air with those giant dragons. But dragons are expensive, so we'll see how well it goes. Um, are you tri driving those dragons under the influence? So what? The theme of the deck. Wow! <laughs> Somebody wow. went there. <laughs> so, so I thought you said. So as I said, we are. This is a uh, charity stream. We're raising money for Extra Life, so there are awesome incentives for your donations. Uh, as you donate, you can affect the game you're watching. So if that's true, uh, so uh, Cody's asking if everyone has twenty basics in their deck. Uh, why do you I, ask? Well, because he donated a hundred dollars, and he's going to redeem twenty-five dollar donations if everyone gets a basic land. <laughs> Or he's thinking about it. Every player gets a token of descent into Avernus. Oh that one God, gets real great. fun, but real crazy. I do not. I have 12. You keep thinking about that, Cody. Maybe you can, like, divvy it up amongst, like, clue, food, treasure tokens or something like that. Or scrying. <laughs> all or something. meta. All the time. Yeah, or just all meta. Or, like, yeah, card draw would be bad because we'd have to discard. Everyone gets get 20. Get there you go. That's it. Boom. That won't break anything. This is Yeah, this isn't going to break anything at all. This isn't going to be a five-minute game. I love it. So uh, thanks to a donation earlier, everyone gets 20 treasure tokens. 20? Oh, oh gee. That, that's unreasonably good. Yes. Me. Is that like on like, turn that's, zero? Yeah, that's right now. Before we even get started, everyone okay, gets... I literally have 17 mana. Wait, that's... how many treasure tokens? 20. 20. Okay, I think I can do something. <laughs> else. Sorry. <laughs> this is the insanity I look for. This is going to be so fun. All right, so I'm going first. I'm going to draw my card for turn. I'm going to play a command tower, so I have 21 available mana. Oh, no. You're the threat. Uh, yep. I'm going to use five of the treasures to cast my commander on turn one. Down That's to 15. amazing. Yes. Then let me actually look at my cards. What kind of... Uh, okay, that's true. Oh, my gosh. That 15, you say. Is it just me or is Brian's camera not updating on spell table? Is it... Uh... Not doing it like the stream I, seems to. I, that's, be just a, that's just a me thing. I okay, yeah. I just gotta refresh. I'll be real quick. I'm on the spell table. I'm still on audio, obviously. There we go. Okay, yeah, got it. Wow, this almost right. feels wow. unfair. Wow. Well, it is unfair <laughs> actually. So we're probably gonna get some extra games in. I like this. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna use six of the mana down to nine. Six of the treasures. Nice. <laughs> I can't. Can't believe we're doing this. Turn one, fiery emancipation. Wow. If a source I control would deal damage, it deals triple that damage instead. Yeah, hey, you know what? I'm gonna give you more treasures and offer you can't refuse that. <laughs> Use one of my treasures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's minty fresh. Uh, yeah. Was it countered or something? I, I think, yeah, it's target, counter, target, non-creature spell. Its controller creates two treasure tokens. <laughs> so you get more treasures. Okay, that, that's, that is absolutely understandable. <laughs> The game would have been over way too quick. I, I, I am not upset about that. Oh, this is so silly. I love it. Uh, I love, I love you chaos. Okay, perfect. I still have enough. So we're going to basically crack all 11 tro uh, treasures. Six of them are going to be War Storm Surge. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. And then the last five treasure tokens is going to be a uh, spark tongue dragon. I'm going to have two triggers. Ah, I can't pay that. So, so whenever an, an adventure or a dragon spell deals damage, when I cast it, it deals damage equal to the spell's mana value to target that isn't a commander. So spark tongue dragon costs five. So Graham, you countered my obviously deserving a counter spell. So take five. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh, well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my <laughs> And then whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. What card is that? War Storm Surge. Then uh, three damage to Chris. Yep, take three with three, seven. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass. Right, draw. Okay, so I'm going to do Exotic Orchard. I have 20 yes. basic lands in this deck. All right, I am going to go down to 18 treasures, and I'm going to Monarch Tutor. Any responses? Crying can be done at instant speed. What? I can't do nothing. Yeah, they leave this in my... This I was deck. greedy and used up all the treasures I had. I could do that. Hello. 
Marnstable was like, I want to be janky. Follow your heart, soul. All right, so I have two options I'll do. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, at least one of them. One of them, I'll say, is Culling Ritual, which is destroy each non lamp man of value two or less. <laughs> oh, the wow. Man... Oh, that is mean. <laughs> that I is... kind of am thinking about that. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is, Brian, Brian how many treasures do you have left? None. All right, the other option is Tithing Blade. <laughs> so I will go... For, well, no, so if I... Because I can always put Phyresis on his Vohan. Get really dangerous oh, with so this. I'm going to advise you not to toast my treasures. <laughs> I know, and like, I kind of like don't want to do that. Cause I, like, it's both the funny move and the dick move. You don't really want to do it. It is hilarious, though. <laughs> but also, uh, I am running Simic, so... Yeah. <laughs> right. And, heads up. And they have 19 treasures, so they can probably fire All off right. a lot of stuff. Yeah, turn zero offer you can't refuse was very silly. Right, I'm gonna get Astrophy and I'm gonna destroy the war storms. Yep, that's fair. That checks out. I'm trying to make it balance and I go down to because I know we're gonna die to that thing. Where's that Will Smith mm -hmm. thing? It's like, I ain't even mad. A little like, meme. I go down to. <laughs> Wait till the descent into Avernus gets here. Fertile <laughs> ground. Uh, you go look in the battlefield, Brian. What's that? From the Astrophy. You get a basic lamp on the battlefield tapped. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, no, just put on the battlefield straight. No tapped. No taxis. Get Dangerous Gamer. Open an attraction. Counter on. Dangerous Gamer. Uh, target gets flying until I roll a 1. I have 10, 9. Save score. Go down to 8. Farik is chosen. Go down to 6. Golgari Signet. And I'll just pass after that. Dope. All right. I'm like looking at my hand going like, why do I have it? Man, I'm not going to play anything. Oh, oh right. That was like a bajillion treasures. I shouldn't have been able to play anything on my first turn. All right. So I'm going to play planes and then I'm going to sacrifice three of my treasures. And so I'll be down to 17 to play Jahira. And now I have a super buttload of, of green mana. So I'll tap three treasures. Yeah, that's yeah. very good. Yeah. You that are you kind of sure you want to just oh, register? You can tap for green. Yeah, that's so good. I'll get a command tower. And they just then... registered that one. <laughs> I will tap another. I need to spin down because this is getting like hard to do. Uh, all right, so I'll spend a green. So this is this is how many tap treasures on tap treasures. I uh, will do a chatter of the scroll to create a scroll token. And then spend two more. I back four times. <laughs> yeah. Flash it back. Now I have two scroll tokens, and then I will. will let's see, that seems like a unreasonably good thing to do. I, I will do that, and another green. And I'll play a spellbook vendor. Nice, love that little guy. And then I will tap this for a white and two more green. So I'm done. I'm at eight untapped. I'll play a Wojak investigator. And then I will crack the Commander Sphere to draw a card. That is really good, but I can't use it at the moment. And then I will go to combat. So at the beginning of combat, I may pay one. When I do, create a Sorcerer Roll token, attach to target creature. So I'll put a Sorcerer Roll token on Jira. I don't actually have that token. Oh, what do you know? I'll have to find it. I know I have it somewhere. Here, copy. That worked. So sorcerer roll tokens have enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has whenever this creature attacks scry one. And after that, I can't attack with anything, so then I will pass my turn. Drop a turn? Alright, I'm gonna drop a rejuvenating springs. Does anybody you know, do two people want to concede so this comes in tapped? Uh, no? Okay, it'll come in untapped. Alright. You're all my friends, a, but you know, that's a pretty tempting a offer though. Yeah. This iteration I'm was there. Right? I all mean, right, I don't know. It's like, I did my thing. Guys. I can concede just just out of spite. <laughs> Play Volo. Guide the monsters. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. Prepared to be. Yep. We are then going to go down to twelve treasures and drop a watchful Radstag. This was actually a uh, a card that I got to uh, help Levdev with the preview. Nice. Watchful Radstag. Here's the copy of the. Watchful Rad Stag. Nice. Of course, two heads, sure. Yep, evolved! All right, those will enter the battlefield. And I will actually pass the turn. Seems shady, I don't like look it. At play, look, look at us playing uh, good, honest magic. I will play... <laughs> 20 tokens on turn zero. Good, <laughs> honest magic. We're gonna... Is it Guildgate comes in tapped. Tap a red to crash through. 
Creatures I control gain trample, and I draw a card, just because I wanted to draw a card. Yeah, card okay. advantage with this much mana showing is probably the way to go. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Time to move to combat. Welcome to combat. Thanks for having me. I will <laughs> swing Lozan at Johnny and Spark Tongue again at Chris. It's 4 2 and 3 3, both flying. I'll take three. Pop, pop, pop. Take four. All right. Yields down. I pass turn. Okay, untap. On a, I had six remaining. I got a roll for the tower. It's a six. It's got to gain flying until end of turn. Draw. I go down to one treasure for a soul swindler. ETB is open. Enough. It's the Pika Beeble. It goes to two. <laughs> I will play a lamp turn. Haunted Maya. To combat. Swing it at Brian. Four. Total of five. I'm going to open another treasure. Yep. And it flies. That's the commander, by the way? Yep. All right. And then I got the clown extruder. This makes feebles, and this uh, makes clown tokens. And I'll pass. What are you talking about? Chris doesn't have an accent. All right. There's an accent so... No, Cody was <laughs> like... an accent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Accent. So I untap. I have an upkeep trigger of Wojak Investigator. However, uh, with that trigger on the stack, I'm going to tap this and tap two treasures. So I'm at 15 untapped treasures. And I'm going to play Charge of the Mites to create two mites with a Toxic One. And then I'm also going to actually just crack a treasure and tap another treasure to play Raise the Alarm and create two white soldier tokens. That's a lot of tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, Time to raise the alarm. And then uh, Wojek Investigator will resolve who has more than two cards in their hand. I have oh, no. I have four. Always ask the Simic play of that. Come on. <laughs> so I will investigate twice. I'll get two raging clues. <laughs> That's a weird thing to call them. <laughs> it's from South Park. Yeah, you got a raging clue. Oh, I didn't even look at the, <laughs> the actual art. You thought you were just sort of calling it raging oh. clues? Because <laughs> I was looking at his knife for a second. It's All right, I'll drop for turn. Uh, I'll play a white mana. And then I'll tap the white crack treasure. And tap three and six and i'll play a basilica shepherd which will create two more mites and uh, then tokens my yeah. land and i've got one card in hand i will move to combat i will spell book vendor uh by tapping the previous sorcerer roll and i'll give the sorcerer roll to the little jack investigator oh, yeah because that's a token too <laughs> It's kind of silly. Uh, I will swing the Wojek Investigator Ryan for three damage in there. Flying Witch. Yep. Three damage, you said? Yeah. And then I will go ahead and pass my turn. Right. Draw for turn. Look at that. Going to... Am I cracking a treasure? Yeah, why not? We'll crack a treasure. We'll drop this Birds of Paradise. Look at this. Ooh, the most beautiful bop there is. Yep. 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 Beautiful bop and... Well, signed by uh, Jordan, too. Wow, nice. Even better. Uh, we'll have a, uh, we'll drop the uh, token version of this one. Look at the little <laughs> board, little bird orb. Uh, then we'll drop this island that I feel like is such a waste a card in my hand. It's not a waste. It's a... You're right. It's not a waste. <laughs> it's an island. It's an island, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I actually don't have any tech right now. Or am I? And I will pass the turn. Okay. Snake, snake, snake. All right, just readjusting all. But it's getting a little darker outside. Untap. We'll threaten a psych rift and a half and pass. Oh, 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 magic man. after dark. All right. Well, Highland Lake comes in tapped. I'm getting a lot of lands now. It's like, hey, I heard you liked all that mana from those treasures. Let me give you some lands. I mean, I do need them. All right, let's see. No point in swinging out this time because I don't want to be stupid. So <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I think I will actually just go ahead and hold and pass turn. Okay. The ability to... All of it happens. So this gets flying. I'm going to roll a six out of die and put that many luck counters on it. And that's going to make treasures. I rolled a one, so I get one treasure going to two. Gets one luck counter. And I make a one, one clown. And let me interrupt you real quick and thank the delicious yep. god for a $5 donation. We all get to get a basic land. Out of the deck or just make it? Uh, on, out of the deck. Sweet. Tapped or untapped? Untapped. 
Ooh, I'll put this forest here. I'll put this weirdly <laughs> om ominous Phyrexian swamp right there. Uh, I'm sure that's got no I'm... foreshadowing or anything. I am grabbing a uh, another planes because I've got as as much as I have metric tons of green mana, I have almost no white mana. I'm getting this uh, cereal bowl island and uh, yeah. Right, I <laughs> You're spilling your milk, Brian. I know. Well, no, I'm. It's drinking. That's that's the sugar milk at the the end, man. That's the best part. And you drink oh, it. Oh, you're just pouring it into your mouth. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. And I'm... Look, dangerous gamers, kind of dangerous guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch out. I'm gonna open another one of these thingy jiggies. Uh, it taps creatures. Uh, so Graham, it's gonna be a six six over it, and I'll pass. After that, you're sending a <laughs> six six with flying. Up? With flying. Death Touch Flyer. I'm going to block it with this Birds of Paradise. Boom. You did this. <laughs> bye bye, Birdie. Bye bye. Well, birdie. I just simply just wanted to open more attractions because I'm the guy who runs. <laughs> Is, I just work here. That's my line. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm opening, gonna, opening more. I'm going to untap my stuff, including this Sorcerer Roll, which is a weird, hard thing to untap. There we go. Ah, I'm just knocking everything over now. I have too many tokens. They're taking up too much room. Oh, I know. You poor thing. All those tokens. I have an, <laughs> I have an upkeep trigger with a little Jack Investigator who has more than one card in hand. I do. Uh, four. I have one. You have one. And Brian? What's up? How many cards do you have in hand? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, four. Jealous. Four. So I get two blue tokens. I'm, I'm multitasking. Two more. Two more. All right. I'll draw for turn. All right. Let me stop you okay. because we have the awesome bioinformant donating $10. Everyone gets the scry two, and then everyone draws a card. Oh, scry nice. two, scry two. Oh, thank goodness, more land. Uh, one on the bottom. Ah. Put that on the bottom and this on top. Draw this card. Draw this. Card. Thank you so much, Bio. Yeah. Thank you, Bio. Thanks, Bio. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Ch -ch 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 I'm gonna tap two, two. Yep. Tap two treasure tokens to play a marble diamond. That comes with tap, so I'll just throw it over here because it's less important right now. I uh, tap these two guys and green. Actually, we'll tap a sorcerer roll. Green. And we'll play uh, Queen Allen, Allendal of Ruach. Queen Amadala. Queen hmm. Padme, I guess. I Padme, know. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Queen Padme. That I guess I go. And then after that, I will tap one and two more treasures. So now I will play Inspiring Leader. So with Inspiring Leader, ah. out, all my all my creature tokens are three threes. Yeah, they're a little large. How much yeah. mana do you have available? Like a ton, right? Oh, so... 13. Yeah, like 13 mana at yeah. least. <laughs> it's called uh, oh, a third amount. Sorry, 18, because the clues tap for a minute. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, my Normally, this deck really snowballs good. a little bit, uh, but I got off to a good start. Like, we, we I'll good. say. Yeah, we, you got off to a 20 <laughs> treasure start. I think we all. That's why I was saying uh, that's a little, a little good for me, I guess. I love that. I'm, all right, so I'm going to go to combat. Uh, Spellbook Vendor Trigger. I will put let's see, I will tap the treasure token. I'll put a sorcerer roll on Basilica, the Basilica Shepherd. I like um, how you're like doing that for essentially free. Yep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's pseudo free. So this foam offender is in here. It just it kind of ramps you up over time. Uh, uh, when that happens, I also get to create a soldier token, which will have summoning sickness. All right, so now uh, because gonna... you created a oh, creature to has to be yeah, creature token. Yeah, it does say that. creature yeah, token. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Yeah, I don't get this one less often. one one. You know, <laughs> people <laughs> typically nuke this from orbit for some reason when it comes into play. I mean, you know, it's when like a firing leader and Jahira's out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll go to combat. I will swing the two soldiers, Grim. I will swing the two squirrels at uh, Brian mm -hmm. and the Wojek investigator at Brian. And then I will swing the four mites at Chris. So wow. the four mites are three three toxic, and then the squirrels and the soldiers are three threes. And Oof. the Wojek investigator is a three five flyer vigilance. So sorry, what's coming at me? Uh, you get to the soldier tokens. So two three threes. Yeah, two three threes. I'll I'll take six. And I will block two of them with death touch and take six and two infect. And you're sending two three three squirrels, two three three squirrels, and a three five uh, flying vigilance. Well, I'll block the flyer with spark tongue. It's a three three, so my guy will die, right? Yep. And I guess I'll take six. You was your spark tongue a three three? You said? Yeah. Oh, is that? Oh, you blocked the flyer. Okay. Yeah, I blocked it. Blo All right. Cool. Cool. After that, I'm just gonna pass my turn. All right. 
Grim draw. There we go. This is where it gets stupid. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll drop this uh, forest for turn. Uh, we're going to crack four treasures. I totally forgot this thing was still in here. Mm -hmm. So I think I think it's appropriate. Roaming throne. Nice. <laughs> okay. But I feel like it's still too little too late. By the way, here's here's, here's my uh, token for Roaming Throne. I love okay. it. All right, so uh, Roaming Throne is a 4-4. Four, four. It will enter. Uh, watchful Radstags will get plus one, plus one counters and then mutate. So we'll get those. Uh, they'll go to 3-3. Three, three. I'll get copies of each. And then the second Roaming Throne will enter the battlefield. And then all of these will mutate again. I don't like any of this. This is uh don't worry about it. Honestly, uh, that's cool still not as scary as it need you know, as it could be. And then these are Well, I mean someone points a shotgun at me, it's like, well it's not as scary as a machine gun. So, yeah, it's still scary. Yep. And then there will be four of these. Yeah, I mean the the, the round sack, it's watchful, you know? It's just a little guy. Alright. Um choosing a creature type. Uh shoot, that that's what I need to do. Um as it enters the battlefield. I should have had the foresight to say elk or mutant, but uh, we will say human. Mm -hmm. um, first one enters, second one enters. I do not get any extras off that, but I now have four four bodies, and that is actually pretty okay. I'm going to put these right here. Vol Vol Volo's on the can. And then... You know what? Why not? I'm gonna tap mana. I think I might be like one of the few <laughs> players to do that right now. Play Kodama's Reach. Nice. Uh, and then put two islands in my... Or one island tapped, and then one into my hand. And that will be my turn. Still don't think I'm going wide enough, so... <laughs> that is where I'm going. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play a mountain for turn. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. Well, tapping man in this economy. Uh, we'll tap two blue and then three others for kindred discovery, choosing dragons. Uh, whenever a creature of the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, I draw a card. Uh, regrettably, I am not going to do either right now. So I will just pass. Okay, untap. Go for this thingy jiggy. The five. This is going to get flying again. <laughs> happens. All right, go to my turn and draw. Tap four, open another attraction. This one is crazy good. Hall of Mirrors. When I visit it, each creature I control becomes a copy of another creature. And there, none of them are legendary. I'm probably going to die to Johnny. Johnny does have flying. I do. Which items fly? These two guys, a 3-5 uh, and a 4-4. Four, 3-5 four. and 4-4, four, four, which is a total of 7. So that would be exactly 7. Oh, wait, no, I opened one. Never mind. So this goes to five. If I attack, it'll be an eight. Okay. I'm going to swing at you with the gamer. It is an eight, eight. Open an attraction. Eight, eight with flying. Eight, eight flying death touch. And death touch. That is correct. Yeah, I'll take eight. Ooh. And then I'll just play my land for turn, being my uh, last card in hand. All right. Uh, I will die to the crackback. Pass turn. I know where this is going. Uh, you're not the most scary. You don't have two roaming thrones. This is also saying. extremely true. Well, don't have any creatures. <laughs> I'd be playing creatures if I had them. All right, I will untap all the things, and then uh, creatures. I have a uh, little jack investigator bad. trigger. Who has more than zero cards? I'm going to assume y'all do. I have zero. I have four. Yes. Right, I create two four. clues, and then I will draw for turn. My all right, I'm going to tap my clues and tap. Oh, there's still fifteen. Tap six treasures. And I'm going to sack all my clues to draw six cards. Sack them and not draw any cards. Is that okay? What's that? You just didn't draw it. Like, get rid of these. It's taking up too much real. So, yeah, pretty much. That's exactly it. Right. I mean, that seems fine. pretty fine. good. Oh, there's a, there's a couple good things in here. Um, So we're going to play another planes. Because clearly we need planes mana. And <laughs> not any other kind of mana. Ever. I want to do that. I do, but I also want to do the other things. So I'll tap white and two. Or the track to play just a little guy. I'm going to play uh, King Darien, the Super Bowl. Nice. Love that guy. The art. So cool, too. And... Wait, say that again. What is it? Super Bowl? <laughs> I call him King Darien, the Super Bowl because it's got the Roman numerals after it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
what the num- the number is. I literally it's thought you number. said Super Bowl. Like, there's no way he said Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the. I don't. Yeah, I can never remember. You so you gotta figure out what team won that year for that Super Bowl and just name them. The, name. I that played game. Darian the Patriot. You're right. <laughs> I'll forget. Darian that. the Seattle Seahawks. I'm not a football person, so I would, like if, if it was Stanley Cup. <laughs> but they go by year, so, so yeah, like that. normal so, people do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, I'm gonna put that aside, and then we're gonna tap one, two, three, four, all seven. That's a lot of mana. Yeah. And we'll tap the two rolls as well. So let's see, one, two, three, four, seven. That's uh, there's twelve, thirteen. We're gonna. Horn of Valhalla. Also a great card. Eleven. <laughs> I'm gonna respond to that. I'm going to tap the Rejuvenating Springs, tap a treasure, and then X equals six to repulsive mutation. I'm gonna put Ooh. six plus one plus one counters on a. Uh, we'll we'll put it on uh, one of these roaming thrones actually, uh, and counter and... up to one target spell unless its controller pays six. I think. Mm. Tap it all down. Do it. <laughs> yeah. You've got the <laughs> mana with your little tokens. Oh, that is true. I could... Yeah, you know what? I could I could just start attack. a turn for it. So, so you yeah, can pay for it? it. Yeah. Darn, I thought you overcommitted. <laughs> no, I didn't tap the creatures. Well, you can't go any... You can't swing now. Yeah. But like, well, you can't I can't swing, swing but, but as much. That is true. We bought a. I bought us a turn. You bought, yes. you bought a turn. Yeah, but we now I... a bigger <laughs> target. Eight to six. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then this goes on an adventure, which I probably passed ever. So the Kansas City I've... Chiefs won that Super Bowl, by the way, thanks to Retro Player. There you go. It's Darian the Kansas City Chief. <laughs> Thank you, Retro. Darian the, the, the Chief. Yeah, there we go. That's... Then I will... All right, so these are all tapped. Just makes things easier. Move through... Move to combat. I will spell with Fender another sorcerer roll. Put the sorcerer roll that I didn't tap. Because that would make things silly. I will put uh, another one on the Wojak Investigator. So there'll be two sorcerer rolls on the Wojak Investigator. Move to combat. I will swing the Wojak Investigator, which is a, a four six at Grimcorp. I will block with the other bird. You did right. this. Bird. And then I will pass my turn. All right. All right, team. We got one. One. Oh, about to do this. Mana flooded. Yeah, what those do six have cards. Untapped, Johnny. What do I have untapped? What like creatures? creatures? Uh, yeah. I've got eleven soldier tokens. Oh well. Oh, I sorry. I should have got a a twelfth one from Queen Amandel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I have twelve soldier tokens. The to Queen Amandel. That's like thirty, thirty. I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, the Soka Shepherd. And this uh, is where my creatures would go if the I Vendor. had any. The King, King Darian, the, the Kansas City Chiefs, and uh, Jahir is still untapped. Remember, when you're being mean to me, this is who you're being mean to. Totally rag, yeah, man. You should you should drop Bowwinkle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brian, you're up. Oh, all right. Already? Okay. Let's see. Untap, up, keep, draw. Play an island for two. Um, all right, so Johnny's the threat, right? Yeah, pretty clear. Uh, we've got... An alpha strike, anyway. I keep drawing lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... To play Hellkite Igniter, it's a it's flying haste 5 5. So, Johnny, oh. you'll take 7 damage to the face. That was take you first. Draw a card. And you've got two flyers, right, Johnny? Yeah, sure do. I'm not getting through. Just, just Hulk smash it. I don't think my Hulks are going to smash it. And my Hulks will get smashed in the process. I don't like that. They're wee baby Hulks. That, I will pass turn. That Hellkite Igniter would have been lit on turn one. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's super Zero. lit. Oh, yeah, God. It's like, oh, it's a 2020. Or 25, 25, oh my god, yeah. That was insane. I had that in my competitive Jolene deck for the longest time, because it was just so easy to get, like, 10 to 15 damage in with it. Oh, I can imagine. I guess it's on you. Yeah, I passed. Completely blank, I didn't know, I realize. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to roll, it's a 5, gets flying again, and that's unfortunately it. So he flies again. All right. I got a heap gate. So, move to combat. I'm gonna swing Johnny in the air for nine. I'm gonna block Basilica Shepherd this time. And that's it. Basilica Unfortunately, Shepherd. could not do anything. Oh no. It's smoked. In that Very many team. sad faces are involved in this. Yep. All right. Do you got anything else or is that it? I have no cards in my hand. Legit. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, I legit. I feel, that. I feel that. Did you roll for your attractions and all that? 
and I only got the one. I got the five. I literally had one. Oh no. Okay. These are mainly two, three, and six are my attractions in my deck. Gotcha. Uh, my condolences. <laughs> yeah. Not the grandest of excursions. All right. So I've untapped. I've got a Wojak Investigator trigger, but I think I've got four cards. So I'm assuming everybody has less than four. four. I have I have four exactly. I have three. Yeah. Thank you, so Kevlar, for the follow. Making... No more raging clues, and I will draw. <laughs> you can give me more if you want. I'm not against it. I will Chat, play. You know can do that. Donate. Right. Just because. Just because I haven't played one yet this game, I will play a forest. That's my <laughs> in, in solidarity, I guess. In solidarity spite. with spite. Oh. That forest is just insult to injury. All right. How many <laughs> creatures does everybody have up? Two, I have two. four, two. eight, nine, ten. Technically 11. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, actually Three, 11. That's two, oh, 11. Oh. How many of yours fly, Grim? Or have reach? Zero. Well, I know that one's going that way. And then these are all four fours now. Let's see. Three. So I would need to get seven in on Chris and seven in on Brian and eight in on Grim. He's got 11 creatures. Yeah, I think we got to do it this way. <laughs> you um, really don't. Time for the hordes. No, I wish. Yeah, I wish. I think it's in this deck, too. Yeah, yeah it's Battle Royale. It's like Fortnite. Uh, cool. let's... The fellas can all have a little infect as a treat. A little treat for all of you. It's an infect. Oh, oh but that's on him. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Where are we going to... All right. We're going to swing this and this and those and that. Um, there's also a spellbook vendor trigger, which I will put under trigger token thingy on Queen Alando. And this guy's swinging as well. Um, so I'm going to swing the Wojak Investigator at uh, Grem. Okay. How much incoming? Uh, it's four. And then I will swing. Let's see, I need. A, how many is it? Seven to get in on Chris. And he's got three. So I will not ten. be blocking. I'll just say it. And Makes it easier. Ten, at, ten tokens at Chris. So that'd and be then, 30, right? Uh, yeah, it's 30. Well. And then... Oh, no, it's 40. They're all 4-4s. Four oh, they're oh, no! Oh, yeah. 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 I'll just take that L on that one. You can go on that. <laughs> and then Queen Allendale and 8 tokens at Brian. Uh, and they're all 4-4s? Four yeah. And Queen Allendale is a 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22, 22, 23, 23. Sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. She's a 23, 23? <laughs> yeah, she's a 23, 23. And I scry twice from the attack triggers. Oh, good. You scry twice, too. Okay. Uh, oh, scry, no, sorry, no, scry no, one. God forbid. Yeah. I'll so, Jesus, does she have, like, trample or anything? No, she doesn't. For God's sake. And then. I'll be bound. You said eight four fours? Yeah. Eight four <laughs> fours. Yeah, they're kind of big. Eight four fours and a 23, 23. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I know. Well, there's absolutely nothing Whether I can do that. Whether you have a holy day or not, I have no, no, I have nothing. I'm done. Like it doesn't matter. Even if I use both blocks, I still hit take yeah, 28 like, like, damage. I, like I survive, but I'm basically gonna look at my top card and be like, does this somehow win me the game? Yeah. No. Okay. Rakdos so. charm in his simic deck. There you go. <laughs> Oof. All is dust. <laughs> Rakdos charm is would be really bad for me. That is All gross. Right. Okay. Um, second main phase. <laughs> so his second main. I have all this mana, and I literally have three lands of my hand, so there's that. I know. So out of those six cards I drew from clues, three of them were lands. <laughs> yeah, my, my hand's been, like, full of lands all game. All right, so I'm going to trigger King Darien. One, two, three, four. Queen, King Darien, the Baltimore Ravens, apparently. <laughs> oh, the Kansas City Chiefs. No, 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 no. He corrected himself. Oh, okay, okay. He corrected okay. himself. Retro said it's uh, it's actually uh, the Baltimore Ravens. You got the number. Yeah. Uh, so I'll trigger this four, three, four times. So I'll create eight soldiers because they each double. Like I, I get an extra one with Queen yep. Ando. You do. It, it's kind of gross. <laughs> like the very protection. <laughs> yeah. And then I and get so then I get four counters on King Darian. So he is Wait. now a uh, six seven. Got to get those blockers. Like I mean, if Triumph of the Hordes is in here. I don't remember and if it is. And <laughs> that taps. It doesn't need the blockers. Mana, except for a, a plate. And then I will. I still have some green man up too. I'll pass my turn. It's untap, upkeep, draw. And that would be a negative. Good game. <laughs> the nature's lore. You know, and the Kodama's Reach and the islands. I've been sitting on this spirit's guardianship that I can't use either. Oh, no. 
I oh, had a, silly. That was good. The only one I had was Surge of Salvation, but I didn't really need it with uh, King Darian in play. So yeah, I wouldn't have. Oh. Yeah, no, no, definitely. <laughs> it may be if I'd somehow gotten to the Thunderfoot Bailoff. 